From driverless cars to automated vacuum cleaners, we hear a lot about how robots are going to take over everyday tasks. These odd-looking contraptions in a university lab could provide a clue about the next frontier in the robotic revolution. When we think of medical science, it's usually test tubes and white lab coats that come to mind. But here at King's College London, researchers are exploring ways that robots can improve human health. From bionic limbs to improved mobility to surgical devices of the kind being developed here, the worlds of biology and robotics are coming together. High-tech instruments and probes are already a common feature of the hospital operating theater. But more sophisticated devices could eventually allow surgeons to carry out procedures with greater precision than is possible today. Here in uh, the Center for Robotics Research, we are taking inspiration from the octopus and try to create soft robotic devices that can be used for minimally invasive surgery. So here um, we are developing these devices and you can see the system moving here in the background. So it is a, a soft robot and it, that makes a vertical step from what we have seen in the past. We are moving away from the usual approach of rigid robot arms, but not only soft, can be stiffened if required, very much like the, um, the biological inspiration we take from the, from the octopus. Sensors are being developed that will help guide surgeons to cancerous tissue and some people believe such procedures could one day become almost entirely automated. So create a robotic device that effectively works on the push of a button. Many issues of course that need to be resolved um, because the, 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 the intelligence of the surgeon is, is really required to um, manage the operations as they're done uh, today. So that is, is, is not just moving joysticks about, but also making decisions on, on where to cut, to cut, where to move to with the robotic device. Robotic surgery is still in its early stages and commercialization of these devices is years away. But in other areas of healthcare, the bionic age has already arrived. In and then once I'm standing, it's extremely manageable. It's just a very simple control setup. This is a robotic walking device developed by a New Zealand company called Rex Bionics. It allows paraplegics to stand up and move on their own feet. Well, it's absolutely transformational um, for wheelchair users. Uh, the sensation for them of being able to get up to their full height. I have seen wheelchair users being told by their mates, who they'd known for 20 years, I had no idea you were so tall. Uh, secondly, they're able to return to work. Um, Jared, our engineer in our plant in New Zealand, is able to spend all day in a Rex uh, and do work that would not otherwise be possible. So we've done the technology push part of it. The, the robotic technology uh, has now been invented to replicate the human gait and all the tremendous complexity that there is in the human gait. But now we are beginning to see the medical benefits. They are at higher risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes. And if they can stand and be um, mobilized, uh, it is very well documented that these problems are significantly reduced. The company listed on London's AIM stock market last year to raise money for an international sales push. The £90,000 price tag will be an obstacle for many, but Rex is aiming to gradually lower the cost as economies of scale kick in. It is expensive at the moment, there is a lot of technology in there, but uh, like a lot of nascent technology there is lots of potential to bring down the cost. But first and foremost uh, we need to get people to accept and understand and embrace the technology and its, its value. A cheaper, more basic version of this technology has been developed by a Californian company called Alter G. Its £13,000 bionic leg is used to aid rehabilitation after injuries or strokes. OK, so press go and you're ready to stand up and start walking. OK. Well, that feels, it feels strange. You get, it takes some getting used to, right? Yeah, yeah, but you'll soon work out your own gait. So the concept behind the bionic leg was to actually um, look at a way of actually we could give people with, with weaker limbs extra strength to allow them to sit and stand and to walk normally. 
Some futurologists envisage a day when technology such as this could even be used by able-bodied people to enhance physical capability. At the moment we're at a stage where we're looking at how we actually help people to uh, ambulate where they've had an injury but you can quite see how in the future maybe there will be other models that sort of would actually allow people to have greater strength, greater endurance and those kind of things. So everything is possible with, with the way technology is going. This piece of kit is a long way from the devices being developed at King's College London or indeed the cyborgs beloved of science fiction writers. But it shows how bionics are already having an impact on healthcare and that will only increase as robots take an ever bigger role in human life. Andrew Ward, Financial Times, London.